What's up, YouTube? Baseball Card Junkies TV here, Top City 5401. Titanic Taters. <laughs> and we got a fun subject to talk about today, or maybe not so fun for some of you guys. But what we're, what we're going to talk about is relic cards. And what percentage of relic cards are actually relics used in a Major League Baseball game from the players depicted on the cards? My opinion, it's... Ten, about maybe 10% of relic cards are actually game-used relics from that Major League Baseball player. Eric has a little bit of a different opinion. Well, I think it is what it is. It, I'll reevaluate my opinion. It is what it is, what the card says it is, right? Um, I, I mean, there's an implied warranty, whether it's, you know, contractual or not, that the relic in that card is specific to that player that is pictured on the front of the card. Okay? Um, so that's where I think our opinions differ. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, the card companies actually do a pretty good job of explaining what the relic is in the card, kind of. We'll, we'll, we'll go over all that. Yeah. But um, but the, the problem is, is collectors want to hear something completely different than what is actually said on the card. Correct. And this was my first experience with this, and this is an, um, a Babe Ruth back card. Or is it a Babe Ruth back card? So I remember buying this card for 100 bucks and thinking, oh, cool, I got a piece of uh, uh, Babe Ruth game use back card. But then when I got it in the mail, it says, this is a memorabilia card of New York Yankees outfielder Babe Ruth. And then under it says, from 2009 Topps Tribute Baseball, the relic contained in this card is not from any specific game, event, or season, okay? So in the actual authentication portion of this card, it doesn't say that it's a game-used bat from Babe Ruth, and it doesn't say that it was used in a Major League Baseball game. So I don't know what that relic is in that card. But one thing I can tell you guys is it's not a Babe Ruth bat card. Um, so... Very vague description of the relic, but if it was a bat card used by Babe Ruth in a Major League Baseball game, you bet your ass that, state that on the card. they would state that on the card. It's not stated on the card. That is not a Babe Ruth bat relic. Yeah. And then Eric Here's Smith. the second one here. This is a Barry Bonds jersey card uh, from what, National Treasures. Yeah. Uh, on the back it says... The enclosed game used material is guaranteed by Panini America Inc. Now that's where I say that's where that implied warranty, quote unquote, comes in, is that it's a it's a they're guaranteeing it's a game used card from Barry Bonds is how I would translate that. But right? that's not what it says. But that's not what it says. That's it's not at not all what it says. That it is from Barry Bonds. Yep, there's no guarantee. As a matter of fact, there's no guarantee that it's even a game used Major League Baseball. Because, like, if you read it again, it says, the contained game used material is guaranteed by Panini Incorporated. So this could be game used by Rich Aurelia in a preseason game, a spring training game in 1998, right? Yeah. So, Or it could be like Bobby Bonds in the... Uh, old timers game or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so here's another card. Um, we got uh, Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds uh, dual relic card, and on the back it says, "Congratulations, you have just received an authentic game worn uniform card of Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds from 2012 Topps Baseball." So basically, it says, "You have just received an authentic game worn uniform card." So that, that it doesn't, but it doesn't specify that it was worn in a Major League Baseball game. It just says that Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds wore these relics in a game. So it could have been a game where they were playing catch in their backyard. It do, it doesn't really tell you what kind of game, but it certainly wasn't a Major League Baseball game. And here's where at least I don't got, believe it was. This is 2003. It looks like. During this period of time, Upper Deck was doing a really good job of telling you what was in the card. So this is obviously a jersey card, Babe Ruth, right? That's what you would think it is, looking right at it. Yeah. So on the back, it says, you have received a Babe Ruth game-use pants trading card 
from the Upper Deck Company, LLC. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of pants worn by Babe Ruth in an official Yankees Major League Baseball game. We hope you enjoy the piece of MLB history, yada, yada, yada. So that is an example of something that, based on the authentication on the back of the card, this relic was worn by Babe Ruth in an official Major League Baseball game. That's a kind of authentication you want to look for if you want actual game used relic from the Major League Baseball player depicted on the card. Correct. And then this is the last card. And then this is about as descriptive as they get. As this, well. Yeah, this, this one's real descriptive up. right here. And <laughs> so I'm going to read the back of this one. It says, Congratulations, you have received a Sammy Sosa game used patch and Barry Bonds game used base trading card from the Upper Deck Company, LLC. On the front of this card, is an authentic piece of a patch worn by Sammy Sosa in an official Major League Baseball game and an authentic piece of a base that was used in an official Major League Baseball game at Safeco Field during the 2001 All-Star Game. We hope you enjoy these pieces of MLB history as we at the Upper Deck Company continue to keep you as close as you can, as you can get to the game. So we actually know where that game used base specifically was from, and it specifies that this is a game used patch worn by Sammy Sosa in a Major League Baseball game. Yeah. So that is a kind of authentication you want if you're going to be buying relic cards. If your intent is to purchase something that was worn by that player in an official game. So guys... Buyer beware when you're buying relic cards. If you think you are collecting relics from that player, make sure you read the card. Don't just assume. That that's the biggest piece of advice I could ever give. Do your research. Do don't, your research. And don't uh, just look at the front and say, that's a game used bat. It doesn't work that <laughs> way. Read. Do your research. Alright, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Comment below. Let us know what you think. And happy collecting. Peace.